Hey, hello there. So today I'm talking about uh, the two linked list cycle question. Uh, the first one is 141 linked list cycle. We have a linked list and we want to determine if the linked list contain the cycle. So if the linked list contain the cycle, uh, if we just use a, a iterator to iterate over the nodes uh, from the head node position, we will never reach a null pointer. Uh, so we will stuck inside the, the part that uh, the cycle actually happens. So as an example, we have a four node a linked list and the node with value four is pointing to the node with value two. So uh, if our iterator uh, gets into node two, you will be stuck inside this uh, four node, uh, three node, three link uh, cycle there. You, uh, you will never really be able to get out. Um, so uh, the second paragraph basically here is telling us how to configure this test cases. Uh, we have, as for this example, this uh, first uh, array here is telling the system how many nodes are there and uh, what's the nodes value, 3, 2, 0, and negative 4. And this POS position uh, var variable is telling the system the very last node from the list is pointing to which node inside this list. So the negative 4 node here is pointing to the node index 1, which is the node base value 2 here. So this is uh, uh, how we can actually configure some test case for the system. So I'm actually putting some here. Uh, some extreme case, the linked list is empty, so the position has to be negative 1. Uh, that means uh, there is no cycle because there is there's not even a node. The other kind of extreme case is uh, we only have one node and that node is pointing to itself. So it's a, a one node infinite cycle there. And uh, just a couple of other cases. So yeah, so this uh, this second paragraph is not totally useless. You can use it to test uh, some boundary cases before you know run the code, click the run code to test uh, how, how it works uh, before you actually do the submit um, you know, so that you don't incur a penalty. Uh, all right, so that's, um, that's the uh, description and uh, how to set up a test case. Uh, so the uh, so solution is uh, the, uh, you know, the idea solution has to be run in constant space and also pretty much linear time. So the, the solution is to use the uh, f slower and the faster pointer, the two runner at a different speed. So let's say that uh, we have some linked list here. Um, with some nodes in the before the cycle thing and then at a certain point uh, it will start to get into the cycle uh, where it's just uh, gonna be um, it's a little bit difficult to draw here um, something like this um, we're gonna have two two pointer um, it they're gonna traverse inside this uh, linked list in a different speed um, the maybe the slow one move one link ahead uh, per iteration and the faster one move two links uh, per iteration so the fast one is gonna be stuck inside this uh, uh, cycle before the slower one, but uh, when when the slow one actually gets in here, uh, you know something like this, the faster one is going to be somewhere inside this uh, linked list. The worst case is that the faster pointer is uh, pointing to the node just uh, one step ahead of this uh, slower pointer, and it will take them, um, you know. In this case, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, five step for the faster to actually catch up with the slower. So I'm just going to do a little bit of animation to illustrate that. This is the worst case because uh, their difference, their distance is actually the largest because you can't count the forward kind of distance from the faster pointer and on. So I'm just going to do a little bit uh, animation kind of thing. So the in, in so this is now initial point in the first iteration. Uh, the faster is going to move four, four step, uh, two step away uh, ahead. The slower one is going to move to here. Oh, jeez. So that's uh, first iteration. The second iteration, slower is going to be here. Faster going to move to here. 
So this is two. Um, we're just gonna use a here. Ah, you, you get the idea. So this is two. Then three is gonna be something like this. Then four. And finally, five iteration. And the number five you can see here is basically one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six links inside this cycle. Uh, in the worst case, we're gonna take uh, uh, you know the number of links inside the cycle minus one, to for the faster pointer to catch up with the slower one. So. Um, and uh, to plus the time, to add on the time that the slow pointer actually gets in, inside this cycle, which is going to be the linear part, uh, linear kind of a, a portion here. Um, since it's, a, in the worst case, it's a, a number of links inside the cycle subtracted by one, the total runtime for the faster pointer to catch up with the slower pointer is going to be linear with respect to the number of, uh, total number of nodes inside this uh, linked list. So it's, uh, it's actually a minus one, as we can see here. Uh, it's uh, catching up uh, just before it, uh, the slow pointer to start uh, uh, the loop again. Um, no, in nodes. So you can see here, this is pretty much the, the, la the tail node if we don't have the cycle. So it's a linear in time and uh, constant in space. And it's guaranteed to be linear because the slower pointer will never really to be able to finish one cycle uh, inside this uh, cycle if we have the faster pointer to move two step uh, uh, per iteration. Note that uh, this choice is not arbitrary. If we have the faster pointer to move three links uh, per iteration, uh, depends on the position where this slow pointer enters this cycle, they might never touch each other. Uh, so y you will get an infinite loop if you have the faster pointer to move. Um, you know, the, if the difference, uh, speed difference between this uh, slower pointer and the faster pointer are uh, even number of uh, um, you know steps away, uh, you know, it's it's even number that uh, uh, for that. If that's the case, they might never meet each other uh, based on their uh, initial differences uh, when the slower pointer gets into this loop. Uh, you, you can you can prove that yourself, I guess. Um, yeah, maybe just throw an example with like a three three nodes a cycle, four node cycle, and um, um, having them to be one or two step away and uh, just try to uh, try with the slower pointer move one link ahead and uh, uh, per iteration and the faster pointer move three uh, links. Uh, per iteration, then they might never uh, catch up with each other. So just so that's that's why it's actually quite important to have this to be two or maybe four works as well. Um, you know, uh, but but two is uh, it's just uh, the math is easy. You guarantee to uh, catch up with the slower pointer before the slower pointer gets to the very last node. Um, if there is no uh, cycle, so. Uh, you know this node will be the town node if there is no cycle so yeah so that's uh, pretty much the proof where you will work and the guarantee that uh, you will be less than the total number of nodes in, in terms of the time um, yeah so that's uh, that's it the code is actually uh, yeah, the code is pretty simple um, I'm just gonna code it up uh, real quickly So if the linked list has no cycle, the faster one is go always going to be um, reach the no pointer faster. Since that uh, this faster pointer is moving two step out uh, at, at pre iteration, we want to test the both the fast and the faster next. The we want both of those to be um, actual nodes. So for each each iteration we're gonna advance this two pointer at a different speed uh, one 
one link for the slow and the two links for the fast. Yeah, so if uh, if after we move them um, and they ended up to be the same nodes, we will return true, meaning that we find a cycle, and otherwise we will return false. Uh, that means that uh, the, the, the case when we return false is that uh, the faster or uh, pretty much reach the end of the linked list and uh, find a no pointer instead of uh, pointing to a prior node, so that will, that in that way we will return false here, I break out of the while loop and return false. Uh, yeah, uh, also notice the order, we move the node first before we do the testing, uh, it, that's because we start with the head node uh, to be this, uh, so the, the two pointer, two runner, initially they are at the same starting location, so we want to do the testing after we actually start to move them. So yeah, so let's test in our test cases. Uh, they all works, so I'm pretty confident that uh, it should work. So that's uh, the uh, linked list uh, cycle. Uh, some graphic, uh, some animation about uh, inside the, the cycle and uh, a uh, very sketchy kind of uh, um, showing, showing that uh, it takes uh, um, maximum in terms of uh, total number of nodes for the faster runner to catch up with the slower one inside this cycle if it does have one. So that's uh, for 141 linked list cycle. Then we look at uh, 142 linked list the cycle two. So this one it's as asking us to uh, determine if there is a cycle, and if it's indeed the case there is a cycle, we want to return the um, we want to return the node while the cycle begins. So let's just uh, copy this uh, graph here. So if there is a cycle, we want to return this this node here. Let's kill the comments so it's uh, highlighted, looking a bit nicer. Uh, we want to return this one if there is a cycle. Uh, so the uh, the solution is still to use the slower and faster runners. So we need to look at uh, how many links uh, the slower and faster pointer actually moves uh, when we when, when when they hit each other. Um, so let's uh, put some numbers here. For that reason, I'm just gonna using some dots here, indicating there are more than the uh, you know the the number of links that you see here. Um, just gonna put some dots here. So let's say that uh, we have n uh, l number of links before this uh, cycle starts. And there are c number, number of links uh, inside this uh, cycle. And uh, the, uh, the catch up uh, that uh, happens at uh, maybe some random location indicated here. I'm just going to use here. Let's uh, catch up with, uh, and the links, uh, uh, you know, from the initial nodes inside of this, uh, from the from the you know beginning of the cycle node to that uh, catch up location is going to be t. Let's call it t. So for that, uh, with this. Uh, these numbers, we can uh, do some calculations. We know that uh, the relationship is that uh, the faster, the number of links that uh, the faster pointer moved is going to be twice the amount that the slower pointer moved. So uh, we can see that uh, for the slower pointer, the number of a step, uh, number of links it moved is going to be um, slow moved uh, L plus T. And the faster uh, moved uh, going to be twice of that, two multiplied by l plus t. And it just so happened you should be also um, l plus t plus 
uh, some multiply of the total number of links inside this cycle. And that multiplier, it doesn't, uh, we don't really care actually. So let's just look and analyze this relationship here. Um, to, we just expand this uh, to um, remove this uh, um, parenthesis. 2L plus 2T is equal to L plus T plus some multiple of the cycle lens. Um, we, we are interested about this T here. Um, and also the, the part that uh, after the T. So we can cancel one of the L there and cancel one of the T. Um, so that gives us uh, L plus T, which is the amount of uh, steps that, that the slower pointer moved. It's actually a multiple of the length of the cycle. Uh, what does this mean? So uh, we, we, we're looking at this L here because this L is telling us uh, uh, the number of nodes that we can move from the head to to actually get to the starting point. So the L is going to be just move this over. It's going to be some multiple of uh, C number of links inside the cycle subtracted by T, which is uh, actually just going to be the number of remainder links uh, from this. Uh, Catch a point to this, uh, uh, you know, to this uh, starting point, because there are totally c number of uh, links inside the cycle, and uh, t number of links from the beginning to this uh, catch up location, and if we just subtract by that, uh, you know, some multiple of c subtracted by t, uh, that's going to be the, uh, you know, we're going to move up to. Um, the beginning, move back to the beginning. So if we have a, uh, just move the head node, head pointer from the head node to the beginning of this uh, here, which is going to take L steps. Uh, we have some nodes that's a put, uh, right now with T links uh, inside this uh, cycle. Uh, it's going to cancel this uh, subtract of IT. So it's going to be uh, looping through this cycle for a couple of times and actually landed over here so we're gonna meet the um, another runner starting from the head and if they that's that's when if they are uh, running at the same speed uh, so if we have a new runner starting from head when it uh, um, reach the start of the cycle The slow pointer will will be meted meet meet meted there. So that's uh, uh, you know the the a little bit mass to show that uh, if we have another runner, it will they will meet over there. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, the explanation. Uh, I know it's not uh, uh, very uh, organized to explain how this works. So yeah, so let's just code this up. So we're gonna, uh, similar to this uh, first this question, we're gonna have a slow runner and a faster runner. They're gonna be, uh, slow runner gonna be also, I'm just gonna copy this over. Because in the first part is the same. We want to have them to be catch up in there. And from there, I will dis uh, I will forget about the faster runner. I'm gonna move the slower runner, um, and also a head node, the head uh, pointer, uh, at the same time with the same speed, so that uh, they are guaranteed to meet inside uh, at this uh, starting point for the cycle. So we're just gonna change this to break. So after this while loop, uh, the slower runner is gonna be at this catch up point point which is going to be, um, you know, multiple of C subtract by T steps away from this uh, uh, starting point. And uh, uh, 
we're just gonna start to move the head node and uh, the slower pointer simultaneously. So once they reach each other and they meet each other, uh, we're gonna terminate from this while loop, and at that time, either head or slow, they're gonna be the uh, starting point for this cycle. Um, there is just one case that uh, we need to um, do, that is when the linked list has no cycle. That means we're gonna terminate uh, from this while loop uh, when faster or faster than next is actually a null pointer. And with this, uh, it should work. Um, nope. That's the problem with copy and pasting code. Uh, we'll school up uh, somewhere. Uh, let, me, let me actually copy my test cases. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. So, yeah, it's working. Uh, so for this, um, for this solution, the time complexity is also in, in terms of uh, uh, it will be linear with uh, respect to the total number of nodes. Uh, it's guaranteed to be less than two multiplied by the total number of nodes, um, and uh, the space is uh, constant. We just have uh, two pointers. Um, and that's it. All right. Um, yeah, it's um, 